my channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm Jessie and you're watching. I am so excited about this video. Y'all know I just moved into this house and things have been wild, but now I am finally able to film and share this video with y'all and I'm so freaking excited. Before I talk more about the concept of today's video, I need to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is none other than the jewelry company known as Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a company that was started because the individuals who founded it were frustrated with the dubious manufacturing practices as well as the insane retail markups that run rampant within the jewelry industry. And when they re initially reached out to me, I was hesitant because I'm not really big into jewelry. Now I do wear it pretty often, but the pieces that I wear tend to be more simple and somewhat understated just because I wear a lot of bow ties and kind of loud clothing. So I don't often like to pair clothing with really heavy jewelry. Then I started looking into the company itself and I absolutely fell in love with them because their pieces are deeply minimalistic stick, which is absolutely my style. I was also deeply impressed that Ana Luisa uses recycled materials whenever possible in order to produce their jewelry. And they also produce their jewelry using small batch designs. And the reason that this is important is because producing jewelry in smaller batches is much better for the environment and for our planet Earth. The absolute last thing that we need in 2020 is more companies that are not interested in examining the footprint that they leave on the planet. When you pair the fact that their pieces are really beautiful and I genuinely fell in love with a bunch of them while perusing their website with the fact that those pieces are sustainably crafted, I was absolutely on board. They sent me three pieces and I actually ended up ordering <laughs> three more pieces because I genuinely liked their jewelry that much. So in this video, you are actually going to see me model some of these pieces for y'all just because I thought it would be really, really fun to do a books as outfits video. Now, if you follow me on my Instagram, Bowties and Books, you know that I do a lot of books as outfits over there. The books as outfits trend, I believe started on Twitter where all of the magic happens and then it spread to Instagram. And now I'm slowly seeing more booktubers put out books as outfits video. And since what I do here on Bowties and Books is combine my love of fashion with my love of reading, I figured why not make an official books as outfits video. And since Ana Luisa is the sponsor of this video, I figured that I would go ahead and pair their jewelry with the outfits that I selected in order to match the books. I picked out some of my favorite books of all time and I tried to create outfits that match the vibe and the spirit of these books as well as the covers themselves. I need to give a big shout out to Elizabeth2018 for commenting and telling me that she really wanted to see a video like this from me and I said absolutely. I love when y'all tell me what kind of content that you would like me to produce here on Bowties and Books. It all just worked out really well. Final thing I'm gonna say before we get right into the looks, I know y'all are probably pretty excited to see what I came up with, is to give a little house update. As you know, I just moved into this house and I am blessed to have a spare room that I'm going to use as a library room. Now, because so many places are out of their bookshelves, I'm going around and thrifting bookshelves instead of buying them new, which is also better for the environment anyway. But the downside to that is my backdrop is going to be inconsistent and it's not going to be as aesthetically pleasing as I'm getting this room set up slowly but surely. I'm personally okay with that. I hope y'all are okay with the fact that it's not a perfect background right now, that it's just a plain white wall. I appreciate your patience with me as I'm getting set up in my home. And if you want to see the moving series that I started, I will leave that playlist link down below. The last video that I uploaded in my moving series is the one where I revealed the house that I'm living in now. I gave y'all a very detailed tour. And so I will leave that link down below. It's also a Black Girl Magic vlog. So if you're a fan of my Black Girl Magic series, definitely watch that. And the next video in this series, which I'm hoping is gonna go up next week, is going to be my house decorating video. And ideally after that, you will see a bookshelf organization and a bookshelf tour video for me. Now, without further ado, let's get into the looks. This first outfit is modeled after the cover of Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I really wanted to include these wooden blue and brown earrings because they complement the cover so well. They're earthy and I feel like they touched in on the spirit of the book itself. In addition, I paired it with my leather jacket, which I have had since my early college days. It was in perfect condition before my puppy got to it, as you can see. And the 
Ana Luisa piece that I paired it with is the Ciel Locket, which is an oval locket. It is this beautiful blue, and I've always wanted a locket my entire life. I really want to put pictures of my dog in it. Please don't judge me. And finally, I have this shirt that I got from romway.com. It says, Losing My Mind. I chose this t-shirt because this book features the Mayan god of death. And so I thought something with a skull on it would be perfectly complementary to the book itself. Since I wanted this look to be a little bit more casual, I went with my favorite worn pair of blue jeans. I have had these jeans for seven years and I am literally going to wear them until they fall off of my body. Finally, I decided to dress it up just slightly with these Betsy Johnson heels. I wore them only once for a date and they're really not my style so I have no idea why I bought them but the jewels on them complement the cover so well. Next, I decided to do a cover recreation for Ray Bearer by Jordan E. Fueco, one of the most amazing Black Girl Magic books ever. And for this look, I am modeling these wonderful earrings. They are self-defense earrings. You can literally pull them off and stab somebody in the face if you are being attacked. Then I am rocking the Usef chain by Ana Luisa. I love that this chain is elegant, simple, and sturdy, and it has this cute little diamond on the end of it just pulls it together so nicely. Now this marble ring reminded me of the cover so I had to put it on and the dress itself is a vintage dress that was passed down to me from my mother. I thought that it complemented the cover so freaking well because of the black and the purple. This dress isn't my style but it reminds me so much of her and I have beautiful memories of my mother in this dress and I decided to pair it with the Betsy Johnson heels just because the jewels on the heels match the vibe of the cover. Then we have one of my favorite Black Girl Magic books. Oh, it is so good. You can see how heavily I've tapped it. And I decided to pair this with a black, green, and gold dress that complements the cover really well, in my opinion. It has this cinched waist. I got this at a vintage store. It's from the 1950s. Now I paired this dress with two Ana Luisa necklaces. The first one is a dog tag necklace, which I got because it reminded me of my puppy. And the second one, this little kind of inverted crescent moon, gave me goddess vibes. And since the book is about goddesses, I thought it was perfect. I paired it with these beat up heels from Target. They were 20 bucks. I am not fancy. Wait, is that a spider? Never mind, it's not a spider. We're good. Like I said, I'm not fancy. I have no problem with cheap fashion whatsoever. Now for the final look, this one is my favorite and it is modeled after none other than Sears by Madeline Miller. I decided to wear my Kari reversible necklace because on one end it is a sun and on the other side it is a moon. And since this book is Greek mythology revolving around gods, goddesses, and the elements, I thought this necklace was perfect. It also really matches the cover so freaking well. I'm rocking my sun earrings because Sears' father is the sun god and I love this off the shoulder top because it has a sun, a moon, and a star which also matches the vibe of the book so freaking well. Finally, we're finishing this off with my favorite beat up combat boots that I'm wearing because Sears is such a badass and I just knew that these were boots that she would wear herself. That is going to do it for this video. Thank you again so much to my sponsor, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video and to Elizabeth2018 for always supporting my channel and for telling me that you wanted to see a books as outfits video. I really do pay close attention to the comment section of my video. So if there are any concepts that you really want me to do, any videos, any series that I do that you want to see more of, anything like that, just comment down below and let me know and I will do my best to make it happen for y'all. If you are interested in seeing more books as outfits, like if you are interested in me making this into an ongoing series in my channel, please comment down below and let me know. I would love to hear from y'all which of these books you enjoyed seeing looks for the most, which of these looks were your favorite. And also feel free to let me know if there are any other books that you want to see me do outfit looks for. Now, if you made it this far in the video, comment down below with the word slay, just because this is my attempt at slaying some book covers. Thank you so much for watching another Bowties and Books production. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you became a part of my bookish family. All of my social media links are in the description box below. Until next time, stay safe, wear your mask. Can't wait to see you in my next video.